Decisions are based on options. And those options can have very diverse properties that are often difficult to put into perspective. You might have found yourself jumping back and forth between the pros and cons between possible choices, just increasing the overall confusion you might have already found yourself in to begin with. The more options there are, the worse it gets, which can be very frustrating knowing that the variety also increases the likelihood that our optimal choice might be among these options. So how can we bring order into this chaos? A simple procedure I can think of is using a weighted decision matrix. The idea of the concept is to rate properties based on their importance to you, weighted by the degree in which they fulfill a given criterion. Taking the sum of the resulting values will give us a score for each course of action that we can compare to other options available and therefore make an informed decision. You start off by listing all your different choices, ideally in a table, and determine all the influencing criteria that are of importance to you. After that, you rate each property for every option regarding how well it contributes to your goal, for example on a scale from 1 to 10. You also have to evaluate how important that specific aspect is in comparison to all the other aspects. Using the same value for multiple options is allowed. If you find yourself being overwhelmingly indifferent at times though, I encourage you to restrict yourself to not using the same values and for example, changing up two 7s into a 7.5 and 6.5 based on their importance to you accordingly. Once you've done that for every cell in your table, you are ready to calculate the overall score and identify your best option. Let's take a look at an example. Imagine you want to buy a car and you have to decide between a sports car and a minivan. The different influencing factors that might come to mind are things like aesthetics, the maximum speed, the space available to transport cargo, or the cost of buying and maintaining the vehicle. Now we have to evaluate each option. We will use a score from 1 to 10 here. A higher score means good or important to us, and a lower one less so. It is likely that our sports car will look pretty nice and will also be able to go very fast. We should not have too high expectations when it comes to the storage space and expenses though. Besides the higher purchasing cost, we should not forget about all the speeding tickets that we might have to face with that maximum speed. While our minivan won't win a prize for the best looks or break racing track records, at least it can transport bulky loads and be quite affordable. The weighted part in the term weighted decision matrix brings our personal preferences into the game. We will assign values to each criterion that impacts how the score of each criterion will be taken into account for the end result. Depending on our situation, the maximum speed might be less important for example, while a budget or required space for frequent moves or hobbies might be a priority. We will simply multiply the weights with the score for each option and take the sum over the weighted scores. For the given example case and the situation dependent requirements, the minivan seems to win the battle on this one. This was a simple example with only two options, but the method really starts to shine when you have a lot of options and lose the oversight easily. Especially when there are multiple decision criteria to consider and the properties tend to have similar levels of importance. Quantifying isolated aspects of our decisions helps us to gain a more objective perspective. That assists us to reduce unconscious bias and emotions to come up with a truly rational decision. Sometimes you might be surprised or even disappointed by the outcome, but these are the moments in which we can learn the most about the motives that guide us and how we can get ahead of our subconscious selves. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and see you next time.